I was you know, a devout Dick Smith fan, uh, met Dick when I was 18 years old. Anybody who knows me pretty much knows the story. I'm told it so many times, but um, we would correspond, and Dick would always tell me what his future projects were, and he said I was going to work on this movie based on a best-selling book uh, by William Peter Blatty called The Exorcist. So I immediately did something very out of character for me. I went out and bought a book and read it. Um, <laughs> which is a little hard because I'm kind of a little bit dyslexic, but uh, I, I was fascinated by the book, and, and I just couldn't wait to see what Dick was going to bring to this and, and how he was going to visualize Reagan. And um, Dick sent me some photos of some tests, which I thought were really cool. And Dick was pretty much a one-man show. He worked in his basement in his house in Larchmont, New York, and he had prepared all the, you know, uh, makeups like this. It's so use once and throw away. A foam rubber piece, you glue on once, you throw it away, you have a new piece for every day. Uh, they're cast in a mold. It takes, a, you know, a day to, to find out if your previous day's casting actually works. So Dick had prepared all the appliances for Linda Blair, all the appliances for Max von Sydow, at least to get started, and... and I think it was the first day that Linda was in makeup. Uh, Dick had the original concept makeup on, which was uh, very different than what's in the final film. And, and uh, one of the crew uh, said, oh, she's got her mask on now. To which Billy Freakin, the director of the film, heard that and looked at it and said, this is too masky, do another one. And Dick, I mean, was panicked because they were in production, you know, and he, like I said, he had prepared for months to do all this stuff. So that, that worked out to my advantage. Uh, Dick didn't know how he was going to be doing makeups on the set and preparing stuff in his laboratory. Uh, so he remembered this kooky kid in California that, uh, that was, uh, you know, a real makeup fan. He called me up and, and, and said, you know, I'm, I'm in a, a bind and I was hoping that maybe you could fly to New York live in my house and, and work in my basement to, uh, to help me on, uh, on The Exorcist. And it was like, uh, I'm on the phone uh, and opening up my underwear drawer and packing my bag at the same time. And I say, you know, Gee, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about this, Dick. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but I was actually there when the makeup evolved into what we all know and love as, as Reagan's makeup. And I, first of all, I was appalled. I mean, it was how could anybody question... Dick Smith, you know, and, and what the nerve that this man has to say that, you know, he has to do another one, you know. Uh, but I've actually, you know, he was right. And the makeup that they finally came up with was much better for the film. And I kind of put that away that, you know, maybe sometimes directors actually can be right, you know. But uh, <laughs> I usually don't remember that. But, uh, but I actually, you know, I watched it evolve. And I sat there and watched him try things on Linda and, 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 and saw William Peter Blatty and, and, and Billy Freakin come in and suggest stuff. And, and it was really an interesting experience. And, and uh, most of my time, you know, I ended up making all the molds for the new appliances and, and running the foam rubber for those and running the foam rubber for Max von Sydow stuff and making duplicate molds for that. And most of my work was in Dick's basement laboratory. Um, but when the Iraq sequence took place, which was at, after uh, all the New York shooting was done, Dick asked me to come in and assist him um, with Max von Sydow's makeup. My job as assisting Dick on, the, on, on Max's makeup was pretty much holding the glue bottle for him. But I was there, and I, I got to watch the master work, and he let me make up uh, Max's hands with the old age stipple. And, when you see the movie, there's a big close-up in the. Uh, this is this is my where I take credit for it, this big close-up of his hand when he uh, finds the Pazuzu uh, little model thing in in Iraq, and that that's me. So I expect a lot of applause there. But uh, uh, but the reality is, I was just a flunky lab assistant for the master and for the amazing man who conceived and, and executed these makeups.